What's up guys, welcome back, it's DJ here showing you guys how to set up the Touch ID on your iPhone 5S. I'm using my right thumb to demonstrate this very cool feature. So go under your general setting and into the passcode and fingerprint. And this requires a four digit pin code to get in which you are set up initially. And so you have to turn on the passcode, otherwise the fingerprint feature will not work because it plays at the um, a backup um, password for you if you cannot scan it. So once you're ready, just press your right thumb on the home buttons until you can feel a, a very small vibration. That means it's just reading your epidermal ridges, also known as your fingerprint. And just keep doing that until it asks you to turn your finger uh, side by side and around so the um, scan can read all the angles of your uh, your, your fingers until you can see it's a set. That means it's not set up. You can add more fingerprint um, to the system if you want. Um, I would recommend not to add other people fingerprints so that way it's just a privacy security issue. So the first time when you try to log back in your phone with your fingerprint, it will ask you for a uh, four digit pin code to verify. And so the second time when you try to unlock the screen with your fingerprint, then it should work very quick, less than a second. And you can also use your fingerprint uh, for your purchase on the App Store as well as the iTunes. So it's very convenient. And again, on every first attempt of purchasing something and or logging to the phone by your fingerprint for every fingerprint that you set up, then it will ask you to verify your password of the Apple ID, uh, which is associated with your email. I'm going to step out and do this real quick. Okay, now, so it's ready. So for first purchase, then it just asks you to verify that's you. And so the second attempt, I mean, the second time that you purchase something of the App Store or the iTunes, then it will just bump to the message to ask for that asks for your um, fingerprint. Or you can put in the password associated with the Apple username in case the Touch ID scanner cannot read your fingerprints. And that happens because sometimes the fingertips get moist and wet from the uh, fluid or water, then the scanner will have a hard time reading your fingerprints. And do the same thing for all the iTunes purchases as well. Um, again, you can do this with all your fingertips, um, unless they are got burned badly, then you know that's gonna be a big issue. But you can do that for your toes as well. And check out the link below for that instruction. I'll see you guys soon.